Hey guys, what's going on? Alwaysraceday.com. Check it out for all of your motorsports needs. I'm Chris Williams. I published the website and we're going to start doing a lot more of these videos coming up this racing season. I hope you guys like them. Hey, if you want to advertise with us, we reach thousands of people. We've had a phenomenal month of January with traffic and we'd love to put your business on these videos and I'll promote you uh, here at alwaysraceday.com. And of course, of across our social media pages. Before I give each and every one of these takes, I'm going to show you guys one of my cool die casts. Check out this old school Scott Bloomquist. And I show you the old school Scott Bloomquist die cast today because I, th I think that like when we look back at COVID, right, and just all the changes that we all had to make, I actually think that it might be a positive for grassroots racing and guys like Scott Bloomquist who run on the dirt every week. Last year, um, sports completely shut down. You know, NASCAR shut down for a while. Some of the first things to start back up, you know, was auto racing for one, um, but especially on the dirt. And I'd love to. And maybe we should do a story on this, but I'd love to get a hold of somebody at Dirt Vision or Flow Racing or Dirt on Dirt, one of those guys, and see how many subscriptions they added last year. And I think they put on a really good product during that time. And I'm sensing it. I can just sense it on Twitter and uh, by looking at our traffic that that is carrying over to the 2021 race season. Um, as technology... Um, well, we as race fans are catching up to the technology, right? I remember when Scott Bloomquist drove this specific car, we couldn't watch him. You had to drive, me and my Uncle Dick would drive hours upon hours to be able to get a glimpse of Bloomquist and Moyer and Willie Kraft and guys like that. And now um, I can be a much bigger fan of grassroots racing because I can on a Tuesday night, oh, they're racing in Mississippi tonight. I'm in Iowa. Boom, pop it on. I can watch it. I can follow the Wild West shootout. I can watch every lap of the Chili Bowl. We didn't have those tools at our disposal as a racing community even 10 years ago. I think this is huge. When you factor in the struggles that NASCAR has had uh, with their boring tracks and the cookie cutters, they've got to listen to race fans at some point and i feel like they are they're adding more dirt knoxville's getting a truck race of course we're gonna put the cut boys on dirt uh, i'm i'm really excited as a race fan i'm gonna write about this more in detail in the future but i i think that even in nascar uh you know there's a lot of bright young names i feel like some things are catching on i feel like legalized sports betting is going to help nascar i'm really excited i'm really excited for this year uh give us a follow at alwaysraceday.com. Follow us on Twitter, on Facebook. We're not going away. We appreciate you guys, and uh, happy uh, happy racing, man. Look at this thing. Isn't this beautiful? That is old school right there, my man. Take care, guys. Have a great rest of your Wednesday.